The lives of the carefree teenagers in this picture would forever change just a few years after it was taken. For more than 16 years now, Bobby Jost and its friends tell me that they have lived with sadness, memories, and what ifs. She was shy and she was always happy. Um, I don't think I ever heard her ever say anything negative about one person. We had a, a friend who had a swimming pool that everybody went to in the summertime. Um, horses. Um, you don't have a memory of Bobby without involving horses. Um, you know, was always on somebody's horse. Um, yep. That's Megan Morrow in the black and Bobby Joe Stinnett in the white. In this picture, Gina Balmley and Bobby Joe, moments they will always remember. Going to the park and playing basketball, walking around town, our town is super small. For as many memories, there are more moments they wonder what could have been. I think that's the part that um, bothers me the most is she didn't get the chance to be a mom. I know she would have been an amazing mom. Um, because she had an amazing mom. Incredibly sad that, that she was robbed of that, that somebody thinks that they have that kind of power or control over somebody else's life to just decide um, their future and, and how they're going to end it because they want to take something from you. Friends started the hashtag justice for Bobby Joe to honor their friend and to let the world know who they lost. I would hope people would know just a, what a kind and, and pure soul she was. Nothing they know will bring Bobby Joe back, but these friends want to see Tuesday's execution of Lisa Montgomery follow through. I know for me and, and a lot of people in the community, um, we need closure and closure for us is um, then proceeding with the, the death penalty. I think what she did to my friend Bobby Joe is heinous and unacceptable and unforgivable. Bomley and Morrow say not a day goes by that they don't think about Bobby Joe's mom, her husband and their little girl whose birthday will always be the anniversary of her mom's murder. Donna Pippen, KMBC 9 News.